Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Taylor Jones, and for those that watched my recent YouTube video, My Own Enemy, thank you so much for enjoying it while while it lasted. Now, I know that that was the first rap song I ever did for my YouTube channel, but I'm planning to keep going, like trying to increase, like build up my YouTube channel. So this song right here, well... I'm going to wait till the very end to explain the real deal. Because right about now, what you're about to witness is a song entitled Me. No. <laughs> Dear I Aisha. Yeah. But who is Aisha? How can I explain? As an ex friend, I should be ashamed of myself for doing this. But at the same time, I'm tired of holding back the. This hatred, holding back the guilt, holding back the years, because I was not brought up that way. So right about now, as you can see, I'm about to use a beat from FL Studios. As you can see, this laptop right here. Yes, that's exactly where I, I had to use my last instrumental. Well, actually, I used two instrumentals from that software and i use that for my own enemy and the closing song dg i use that instrumental for the end credits that i so-called created so without further ado let's let's get ready to ride on this journey as it goes a little something like this Remember back in my second album, Does It Make Sense? I made a song about DG, for I was really content because of what really happened. Now it is DG's older sister, the song that I'm rapping. Dear Aisha, Aisha Glenn, a once certified friend, but now it's the end, and things are not considered the same. After so many years, we both changed. Our friendship began way back in August of 2008, back in Milan High School, where we started to conversate with Kasha, Brianna, Perika, and Kiera. I'm sitting with the upperclassmen, and I felt very clever. I was happy that I was new around, and we had lunch together as if I was new in town. Did we ever fight? No, not even once until now. But having a rather friend really meant a bunch. November's in the year when basketball began, and senior year was tough for her and Julianne, including Sarah and Aquasia as well. Win some, lose some. There is nothing more to tell except for the fact that she gave me 13 reasons. Seriously, her jersey number was 13. She did not only impress me for playing basketball because in Black History Month she stood tall, singing her solo with Bianca and Kayla. Hmm, not bad for a basketball player. And speaking of which, the Lady Bulldogs were placed fourth. They did pretty darn well, of course. But all of a sudden, a couple months have passed. Aisha's journey in Milan High, it didn't last. Graduated on Friday, the 15th of May. 2009 was hard for me, and there was nothing left to say. But I saw her once again in the fall at the Milan High football games where we really had a ball. Even when basketball was taking place, whether she noticed or not, she was completely full of grace based on her hugs, based on her smile. But she wouldn't smile at least for a while because she went to the military in Alaska. Black woman in uniform turning out going faster. But I never heard or seen her for a couple of years. Aisha Glenn, very sweet and sincere. But I sent her a Facebook friend request back in July 2013. So what's next? She accepted my request and we reunited online. And there were a whole lot of things on my mind. And I felt so glad that we chatted for a while. Because first and foremost, I really do miss her smile. She made a few videos and what did you know? Aisha sang it for fun because she really had soul. From God, I smiled on me. 
to out and complain. And there was another song that she decided to sing. She mentioned Faith Evans as one of her idols. And that's when she sang the song, Never Gonna Let You Go. The title of the video is If I Had One Wish. She didn't know the title, but I found out really quick. And there was another video that she made based on what she's been through each and every single day. She cried, but she had a demon in her life. Smoking weed, the situation isn't right. So I checked on her by saying hi. However, she did not respond, and I already knew why. She's planning to start school after military. Sometimes life is not considered ordinary. But I saw her once again in 2016 at my alumni, JSCC, where I worked at the bookstore till I saw her familiar face. And when I called her name, it was her, just in case. And what did you know? We gave each other a hug, and that's when we said hello. I was surprised that she took some courses here, but at the end of the day, it turned out clear. We were still the best of friends until one tragic day in 2017. Now that day, my heart until this day is full of splinters because our friendship died on the first day of winter. Aisha was mad and I was hanging on the hook because I put her in a bad position on Facebook. We had a little argument and I felt defeated. And she even told her sister why I got deleted. Told me to stop tagging her name in every post. Especially when it hurt it her the most. She even mentioned that I needed Jesus. And I'll be darned to hear myself say, I can't believe her. Aisha's attitude was getting red hot. I asked her why I went too far. And she said that lying on her was over the top. And that's when she said goodbye. And thanks to the platters, I got smoke in my eyes. Cornisha, Amanda, Mom and Dad, they let me know. Like Perika Glenn, I got to let Aisha go. I really don't know the meaning of leaving people alone. And I even hated myself for being Taylor Christian Jones. Capital A, capital G, with the N, N, O, Y, I, N, in between. Queen. I can't stand violence nor animosity. Mother screwed beef, for well, that's not the way it's supposed to be. Back to the story, back to the song. Can somebody please tell me what the heck is going on? Later that night, I spoke to B.I.G. Candace Woods, and I told her I deleted both posts of Aisha, and she said that it's all good. I wanted to right my wrongs, and I chatted Aisha up on Christmas Eve. Word is born. I told her I apologized that I was off track. Like music soul child, I just wanted wanted my friend back, just starting things over from scratch, but she avoided me. We live different lives, so I need to wash my own back, and oh, yeah, I really need to wash my own back, but let me slow down. I'm out of her life, but she's got herself a new friend, referring to her firstborn, S-O-N. But in January 2018, I drew a Facebook masterpiece of us together entitled Me and Najee, where we were hugging based on my frustration. And I wrote the course to Joe the Seas, I'm still waiting. Another day might be too long. I want to go slow so nothing goes wrong. The last time I chatted was on the special day, 16th of February. What can I say? It was Aisha's special day. Referring to her 27th birthday, so I wished her was safe, blessed 27, and quoted the scripture. Love your enemies, according to the gospel of Matthew 5, 44. I never wish to lose another friend anymore, and I could see this happening to me one day. One of her siblings chatting on my Facebook page, telling me to make my way to Humboldt, and when I get there, I won't act dumb, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. What on earth should I wear? Some casual clothes with my combed out hair. And once I'm found, I'll be escorted in the house. And once inside, I see Aisha sitting on the couch. With no hesitation, I start to sit down. Reintroduce myself and tell my background and write a few notes. Pointers or tips on how to be a better friend for the first time was a miss. And Jesus Christ will be proud because me and Aisha will finally straighten things out. And when I leave, I shake her hands and then we walk in out the door. Right in my car, right from mouth, with so much to explore. And I even had a vision of when the next time we meet, we'll be roaming on the humble city streets. 
And when we see each other, not a single word. Aisha will shed a tear and I walk up straight to her. And that's when we will have a hug of a lifetime because this moment has been stuck up on my mind. After that, we wrap our arms on each other's shoulders, walking up for miles with a smile and the beef is officially over. But until then, I have to let her be for all you double crossers will be criticizing me. Some of y'all will walk up straight to my face, telling me I'm wasting my time, calling me a big disgrace. But I don't care, for I knew her this well. And if she heard me sing about her, then I can tell that she will avoid me. It's not easy being me, but she is forever the queen to be. Dear Aisha, Aisha Glenn, when will this madness ever come to an end? I know I was wrong. It's not easy being wrong, but this is one reason why the song is so long. Dear Aisha, how long has it been? I hope and pray to see you once again with an apology and open arms. So let it be known. Sincerely, Uncle Bean. Oops. Taylor Jones. Aisha Glenn, this one's for you, only you, and you alone. But enough of me rambling right now, because I got a lot of shout outs to give. Shout out to the late Kasha Brooks, Parika Glenn, the Asia Glenn McRonald, Kiara Henderson, Brianna Epperson, Cornisha Patterson, Amanda Jones, James Jones Jr., Vicky Jones, and all the people that I forgot, forgive me so much on my mind right now and no disrespect to the platters and last but not least mad respect to big candace woods and to all the individuals that are trying to get their life right try to get their friends back together start things over from scratch no more beef no more nothing get it together before it's too late Ladies and gentlemen, that was my song, Dear Aisha. And for those that watched it, let me be the first to say thank you so much for spending your valuable time with me. And of course, like I said, this song is heartfelt because it actually was true. I made the biggest mistake of my life and I cannot hide this pain anymore because Honestly, when it comes to dealing with losing a friend over some stupid that you did in real life, even on social media, you got to ask yourself, what am I doing? So, please don't end up like me. Because in times like this, we got to move forward. So, yeah, that song really struck out. Struck out very well for me, and I'm feel so so thankful that I got some out of my chest. But what will be my next YouTube video? What will be my next rap? Who knows? But please, don't be alarmed, because there will be more in store. And on that note, as I'm playing my closing song i like to say thanks for watching and i will see you next time this is yours truly taylor jones uncle bean that is signing out